Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to sit down and film a cute stuff haul video. Basically, I never got around to actually filming my what I got for Christmas haul video and I still wanted to share those items with you anyway because they're so cute, so fun, and of course I've talked to my parents, grandparents, sister, best friend and asked them where they got all of this stuff. Even Santa, I had to call Santa too to ask them where some of these items came from. Um, but I still wanted to share them with you guys anyway even though it is a good amount of time after Christmas. So get cozy, get comfy, grab a drink, grab a snack, all of that fun stuff. We have a lot of cute little goodies to get into today. So without further ado, let's get into my first official cute stuff haul video. So if you guys watch my videos and my channel and all that stuff, you'll know how much I love cute kitchen items and cute like home decor type items. So I do have a couple of those type of goodies in this video. So you're probably like, why is she getting that for Christmas? And it's because I love stuff like that so much and my parents know that. So that's why they picked up these items. And honestly, it's so fun to get like house stuff and kitchen stuff for Christmas. It's so funny, but it's like so great. So anyway, the first item we're going to start with are some napkin rings. And I'm so obsessed with these. These are totally me. My parents picked these out. They said that they found them at Home Goods, And uh, I have two sets. So one of the boxes is actually damaged, but that is okay. I will be able to open it a little bit easier and show you what they look like not in the packaging. So they're from the brand Glitz and Glimmer. And this is just what they look like in the box. Again, they are from Home Goods. They're so cute and adorable. I cannot wait to use these. So here is the other box. And look at how cute they are. I'll kind of pull it back a little bit um, just so you guys can see it a little bit better but it is a very baby pale pink color with some really fun gold kind of mini scallops and detailing kind of some um, polka dots and kind of ridging right here around the middle but maybe I'll insert a picture just so you guys can see these a little bit better and a little bit more true to color but they're so cute I'm so obsessed with these and again I have a set of eight now because I've got two packages of four so really really fun so excited to use these so thank you so much mom and dad I don't know why but I know it's like not something that every gets for Christmas but I'm just so so excited for my new napkin rings so thank you guys seriously so much I cannot wait to actually use these one day because these are so me so next I got a really cute ceramic Starbucks travel mug I'm so excited for this it's so fun I love the colors but basically it just has this really pretty mermaid drinking like a latte or some hot beverage <laughs> so I thought it was just so cute I really wanted this I showed it to my mom and um, of course I had it on Christmas waiting for me under the tree but I just thought it was so cute it's so different it's just kind of artsy you kind of see like her little tail here and I just love the gold metallic touches with that really fun big flowy Tiffany blue hair and then of course she has a crown she's just so fabulous so I thought this was really really cute again it is from Starbucks and my parents picked this up for me so this next item is so funny because my sister and I both got these but just in different colors so again they were from my parents and they're from the brand Masterclass. my mom said that she found them at home goods they're so cute I think my sisters were a little bit bigger than mine um but that's okay because I love these they're just so cute it doesn't really even matter about size anyway just because it's all about the color honestly <laughs> so um I got two new pink baking sheets these are so fun so adorable again there are two of them here I love pink kitchen stuff and these are just like the perfect shade of pink so I love these so so cute so thanks mom and dad I love them um, and again they are from home goods I do have other stuff from this brand the master class um, they do a lot of fun colored bakeware and kitchen stuff kitchenware um, and yeah oh I should tell you the size of these uh, cookie sheets they are 15 inch cookie sheets really really fun uh premium heavy duty fridge freezer and dishwasher safe all that good stuff non-stick coating yada 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 so these were so funny to open again it's just like the napkin rings on christmas like so unsuspecting um but i love them and i will gladly add them to my collection of pink uh, kitchen stuff. I was gonna say Christmas stuff. I have that too. But yes, I'm so excited to add this to my collection of pink kitchen stuff. Um, I know I have some other uh, cookie sheets, but I don't think that they are this size. I think they were a little bit different. I don't know. Anyway, love these. So, so cute. And again, um, I got them for Christmas. That's what this video is. Duh. <laughs> so this is my last sort of home type item that I got for Christmas. My parents said that this was from TJ Maxx and I already have something a little bit similar, but this one is in pink. The other one that I have is in Tiffany blue. So I'm really excited for this. Um, and you could use these for various different kinds of things. So anyway, I love this. It is so adorable. It is a baby pink metal laundry room, little tin. So you could really put anything you 
want in here. It doesn't have to just be laundry detergent. I think the other one that I have, I think might have said laundry detergent, but um, I think my mom forgot that I had that one and that's why they picked this one up. But honestly, I don't even care because it's pink and it's so adorable. Really, really fun. Again, it just says laundry in black lettering and then it just has a little silver handle up here. So uh, just like the other one, you could put Tide Pods in here. You could technically put dryer sheets in here. Any other things that, that you kind of need for laundry, anything, I mean, little, um, one of those uh, fabric softener type things you could put in here if they're like the little ones. Um, there's lots of different little variations you could put in here. Oh, also, you know what I use are like the little bra bags, like the little mesh ones so your bras don't um, get like damaged or whatever in the wash. You could certainly store those in here as well. So again, it's just kind of a laundry room, little storage piece. Um, but again, this color is just perfect. It is like the most perfect shade of baby pink. So really, really excited. I think I saw a tag. Oh yeah, so the brand of this is Robely, R-O-B-E-L-Y, Robely. And again, she said that she picked this up at TJ Maxx. So this next item actually kind of has a funny story just because it was an item that I mentioned to my mom and sister that I needed to replace soon. I didn't think that they would remember and pick it up for me, but I'm still excited because this is something that I honestly would pick up myself. Um, so basically a couple months ago, or actually more than a couple months ago at this point, a few months prior to Christmas, I should say, my straightening iron kind of took a like, kaputs on me it basically stopped working almost like it stopped working at its full potential you know how you could like turn the heat up on like a straightening iron um it just wasn't getting as hot as it used to so i think it was just like slowly dying it's about 10 years old i got it right out of high school when i was in college and it's like turquoise tiffany blue cheetah print it is so crazy it is so just like 2010 okay um 2009 all that good stuff so anyway uh yeah they picked me up a new straightening iron or not they my sister picked me up a new straightening iron but they because they both remembered that i needed one which is just so crazy so again i wasn't expecting to get a new one but i just kind of mentioned it just like in passing i think because i borrowed my mom's or sister's or something and uh they're like wait don't you have one and i was like yeah it just is not the greatest right now and I don't really ever use hot tools like I said the only time that I really use a straightener is like when I have a ponytail and my hair kind of has like a little bit of motion to it or something and I just want to straighten it out a little bit more um that's when I use a straightening iron because this is my natural hair this is straight out of the shower br blushed brushed and blow dried oh my gosh <laughs> I was combining blow dried and blushed into one or brushed into one word oh my gosh I did it again anyway brushed it blow dried it and this is what my hair does so it is naturally straight I don't really ever have to use a straightener but in the circumstances that I have a ponytail and it looks ugly, that's when I like to use it. So anyway, yes, let's get on with it. Of course, you know, this is now a hair straightener, flat iron, whatever you want to call it. It's from the brand hair candy. And this is what it looks like. They just call this the pink cotton candy one inch styling iron. This is something that I would have picked up myself. Like I said, I'm so obsessed with this. It's so, so perfect. I'll pull it out of the box to show you guys, um, of course, what it looks like because I'm obsessed. This is like the cutest thing ever. So anyway, here is the straightener. Really, really cute. It's like, oopsie. That was my brush. Um, it's like a pink crushed velvet texture on the outside of the straightening iron. So, so perfect. I love this. It's so soft. It's just kind of like a bougie hair straightener. I don't know. You just don't see like crushed velvet, faux velvet straightening irons, I guess. Usually they're all just so standard or plastic, whatever, but this one just kind of had that little bit of extraness to it. And I would have picked this up myself if my sister had not found it and bought it for me for Christmas. So again, I love this so much. It's from the brand Hair Candy. And again, I don't need it to do a full head of hair. It's just to kind of touch up uh, my ponytail and all that good stuff. So this does have like a little adjuster for the temperature, all that good stuff, and a little uh, switch right here to turn it on and off. So love this. So excited. I can't wait to actually use it now, now that I've hauled it. And uh, yeah, again, so excited for this. So moving right along, Santa brought me a new perfume. I'm super excited for this because I am such a sucker for like Juicy Couture perfumes, all that good stuff. I have been such a Juicy Couture girl since literally like right out of high school. Um, that's when I first got my first paychecks. Like that's where I spent all of my money was at Juicy Couture. I've got way too many charms, way too many charm bracelets and jewelry. I know I will never get rid of it. It's just a part of me. I literally just packed up all of my Juicy Couture charm boxes and things like that literally just right before Christmas. Um, so I've had them kind of displayed in a part of my room for close to 10 years. 
eight years or so. Um, so anyway, I love Juice Couture. Anyway, uh, they're still making perfumes and I'm so excited for this one. This is one that I had on my wish list. This is a Viva La Juicy Sucre. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's such a fun bottle. I love this so much. The packaging, of course, is super wild and loud, but then the bottle itself is just like so kind of girly and dainty and just the bottle itself is just so pretty. I know I'm just like throwing stuff kind of everywhere, but um, let's just get through this video. So look at how cute it looks like it's in a little like a chocolate wrapper or cupcake wrapper. So, so cute. And then of course it looks like it's melting up here. So fun. I love this. Of course it smells like classic Juicy Couture. Oh, Viva La Juicy brings me back to my college days. So, so cute. I love this. This is going to look so cute sitting with the rest of my perfumes and all that stuff in my room. And uh, yeah, I love this. I love that they're still making perfume. So I know that Kohl's bought Juicy Couture. I don't even know how many years ago now, but they still make juicy stuff. It's not the same quality, of course, but this bottle is very similar to all of the other bottles as far as quality goes. So again, Juicy Couture, Su Juicy Couture, Viva La Juicy, Sucre, Holiday edition, really, really cute. This packaging is, like I said, wild. <laughs> it's so fun. So anyway, I love this. Cannot wait to actually wear it and smell like Viva La Juicy again. So I have a bunch of makeup items. I think that I'm going to save those for the end of this video and kind of do the rest of my miscellaneous stuff right now. And then again, I really got a lot of makeup for Christmas. I think I mentioned this in one of my previous videos already this year that I have a lot of makeup stuff. So... Whew, yes, I have got to find some more storage for my makeup. So it's actually kind of good because I did get a new vanity desk to do a makeover on. And then, of course, a new uh, lingerie chest um, little set of drawers thing uh, to organize all of my makeup because I am outgrowing what I currently have. So with that said, I'm going to put all my makeup to the very end. I'm going to do all the rest of my little stuff right now. Um, but I think that I'm going to kind of show a couple of stationary goodies that I got. This first item, though, I am so excited for. My sister got me this, and this is just perfect. This is so me. It's from the brand Ted Baker. I forgot to ask her where she got this from, but it is so, so perfect. Like, this is me in a pen form. <laughs> I know it's, like, so weird, but honestly. So here is the packaging. Really, really cute. This says Ted Baker London Pretty in Pink pink quartz ballpoint pen. This is so perfect, this packaging, of course, super bougie with all the fun little rose gold details. But when you open up the box, this is just what it looks like. Again, it's just so extra for just one pen. It is just, oh, just me. I love this so much. It is so cute. I'll take it out so you guys can see, but it says something to write home about on the inside of this box in rose gold metallic letters right here. Really, really fun. And then of course it has like a little plastic clasp clasp there to hold the actual pen. Here's the pen. It's like a perfect shade of baby pink with these really beautiful rose gold features. So right here, I think this has a name. Can't really think of it right now. That's okay. Not everybody should know that off the top of their head. Um, but it just says Ted Baker right there on this little rose gold part of the pen. And then of course down here is also rose gold. It just kind of twists out to get the pen uh, ballpoint ink part out of there. So again, so perfect. It is baby pink. It is super heavy, super like well made and just, mm, just perfect, perfect pen. So I know it's like, so again, one of those random things, but I am such a sucker for cute stationery, cute things. And then of course this was just even better. So I can't wait to add it to my little cup. I need to kind of make some room in there. It's getting a little overcrowded. Uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of pen organizing this year, kind of switch some things out. But again, I love this. I cannot wait to use this and add this to my fun selection of stationary type goodies. So Again, thank you, Kaylin. And she was telling me that this also came in Tiffany blue and also in white as well. So there's like three different colors that this comes in. So I love Ted Baker, Ted Baker. I love Ted Baker and she knows that. So again, so excited for this. This is just simply perfect. So this next item was in our stockings, but I wanted to pull it out and just show you guys it because again, it is stationary. I still have my whole bag of stocking stuffers. Some things I've already used or whatever. So I might go through those. I might not. Let's just see how the rest of this video goes because again, I have so much stuff. So anyway, this next item though, again, I wanted to pull out from there because it is so fun and adorable. So uh, this is a unicorn black ballpoint pen, magical gold edition. 
Look at this thing. It is a full bodied unicorn pen. So adorable. Look at how extra this is. It kind of looks like a little balloon unicorn, like a balloon animal. So if you just pull apart the pen, pull off the butt of the unicorn, you now have a unicorn pen to use and write with. Let me get it positioned in my hand. There we go. Yay, look at how cute. I just love this. I love the little horn. I love the gold. It's just so, so perfect. And uh, yeah, again, I was so excited. I was like, this is the cutest thing. I cannot wait to add this to my desk. So oh, love this. I know it's like super random and um, I'm sure a kid would also enjoy this. But again, I love it. I just think it is too adorable. And I was really excited to get this. So next, I got some new notebooks. I'm so excited for these because I think they're gonna look so cute in pictures and for decoration and also to use, I guess, as well. Uh, but I love, love, love cute stationery. So these little items were so fun to receive. So this little set of notebooks right here is from the brand Sonics, S-O-N-I-X. I've never heard of the brand before. On the back of the book, though, it does give their website, which is shopsonics.com. So I'll certainly have to look into them um, because if they make other things that look like this, then I'm going to be in stationery heaven because it's so, so adorable. So they're two really thin little uh, paper notebooks, little notepads or whatever you wanna call them. This first one though is all pink and white striped. So adorable. And then this one is pink and green striped, just like my mug back there on my desk. This totally looks like uh, Beverly Hills Hotel, kind of that fun pink and green type um, color palette, I guess, but they're just so adorable. I love these. Um, again, I can't wait to take some pictures of them and all of that fun stuff. And also it literally is just like my mug. So I love it. I was so excited to get these. And then the next one I got is again, super extra as well. And then this one though is all baby pink fur. So adorable. Like I love this. This is so fun. It just looks like a little furry book. This is totally like clueless. The really cool thing about this notebook though is that the pages are lined in rose gold. They're so fun, so bougie. I just love this. A fur notebook with rose gold page edges. I don't know, it's just so extra. I love it. So anyway, super excited for this new notebook. It's from the brand U Brands. Literally just the letter U, brands.com. So again, so, so cute. I love all of my new notebooks, all three of my new notebooks. They're just so fun. These are literally me, again, notebook form. So next I have this bag full of stocking stuffers that I have yet to actually use and put away yet. Um, but it's kind of just a mixture of stocking stuffers that I received here at my house and then also at my grandparents. So I think that I will kind of speed through these really quickly and just show you what I got, I guess, because I don't really know details about any of these. That would be literally impossible to give you any store names or prices or anything. Um, of course, prices I would never ask, but store names. Yeah, no clue. So I just got a little snowflake a uh, loofah sponge thing, super cute. This adorable pair of socks that are baby pink and gray, super, super cute. Don't know where those are from. Those don't have the tag. Uh, these are probably from the same place because they kind of look like the same style. <laughs> but these are just baby pink with metallic gold stripes. Again, so me, so adorable. Uh, next, we have a pair of Christmas socks from Forever 21. They just have little reindeers on them, little Rudolphs, so, so cute. What is this? Oh yes, this is a USB cable. So this is a backup little charger. It is from, uh, where is this? Oh, Forever 21. And the price is on the top. Good one, guys. Love that. <laughs> anyway, it's just solid gold glitter. Really, really cute. So again, love that. Once my charger dies, though, I will certainly be using that because that is so extra. Love that. Uh, next, I received the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara. I use this for my bottom lashes and kind of also to base uh, my regular lashes. I use two mascaras, don't ask. But this one does not smudge, so that's why I use it on my bottom lashes. And also to separate my main eyelashes. Um, just because it's phenomenal. Anyway, my grandma knows that. And so this was in my stocking. Um, and I don't know if this is like a certain limited edition one because they have flamingos with Santa hats on them. So I'm assuming so. Super cute, so fun. Love the little print on there. Next, I have this adorable pair of earrings from Forever 21. They're just little gold wire bows. Those are so fun, so subtle. They totally look like Kate Spade. Uh, moving right along, I have this little gift set from, ooh, ow, from Bare Minerals. This is just called Moonbeam, and they are a full-size highlighter duo. So there are two different shades in here for a highlighter. One is certainly more pink for blush, and then the other one is kind of a more 
rosy color or no not really even rosy kind of like a peachy color down there at the bottom so um the two colors are the darker one up here in glee and then the one at the bottom just is called in pure radiance so there are two a uh, full size uh, highlighter duo from Bare Minerals. Moving right along, I have a little set of OPI nail polishes. This is called Alpine Snow, and it comes with a top coat, and then the colors Alpine Snow, Glitzerland, and Tiramisu for two. This is just what the little set looks like. Again, they're just kind of some fun, neutral, everyday colors. Really, really cute. Um, I love that Glitzerland color. I love that gold kind of a glittery color. So, oh shoot, super cute again from OPI. Next, I have a little lollipop full of hair ties. They just are in pink and silver and white, so that's fine, I'll have to take them out of there and uh, actually use them. Next, I have a little set of earrings from Forever 21. There are three sets in here. These I'm so excited to actually get to wear because they are really fun and shiny. And they just have like a lot of little diamonds in them. They're just so cute. And I think that, yeah, that top pair is kind of iridescent. It's a little hard to see. Sorry guys, I know the focus of course is set on manual focus so it doesn't focus if I hold it up closer to the camera. Ooh, this hair. Uh-uh, honey, no, no. So this is called Sweet and Shimmer Face and Body Mini Wipes Vanilla Bean. So you could just use these to clean your hands, keep them in your purse. Um, and of course, they have a reindeer on them. So I should use them soon before they dry out because they will certainly probably not last until next Christmas. So next we have Sweet and Shimmer Lip Balm. It kind of looks like a little milkshake or ice cream. Really cute, hot pink. And uh, I don't think it gives the scent on here. No, it doesn't say the scent. Okay, that's a bummer. That's okay. Moving on. Next, I have blotting paper, 50 count. Uh, these are from Forever 21. I can see here on the back. Uh, but it also says RileyRose.com. That's weird. So RileyRose.com, but Forever 21 is selling them. Anyway, just little blotting sheets for if you are oily. Those are great for your purse. Oh, I also have a Dutch Brothers gift card. This was for my grandparents. Um, yes, we have a couple Dutch Brothers here in town, so love coffee. So my second to last thing in my little stocking stuffer bag is from the brand Danielle Collections and it is a six piece nail file set. So three of the nail files are solid kind of iridescent silver glitter and then the other one says mermaid at heart shoot for the stars and so magical with a little unicorn cat. So again super helpful. You can never have enough nail files. You're always always going to need them. And then the last item is the Mario Badescu or Badescu or whatever askew. Um, <laughs> this is the facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. So this is that. This is the four fluid ounce bottle. So super excited to use this. I've heard about this for so, so many years. So um, my grandma swears by it. So that is why it was in my stocking. So Okay, this bag is empty. I had it all in a little Sephora bag. So that is that. I have one, two more. So I lied. I have three items before I get into my makeup stuff. I totally forgot about this because it wasn't sitting on my table. It was off to the side. But I got a new blanket for my parents. It is so soft, so perfect. Cannot wait to put it in my room. And this is just what it looks like. I don't know if there's a brand on here anywhere. I will certainly look. Um, but it is this really soft blanket. It's like pink up here and then it ombres down into a creamy white color and then it of course it picks back up on the pink so it's like pink ombre on both sides and then of course it melts into white in the middle here's the tag i don't know if it'll say the brand on it or not um oliver ombre loft fleece decorative throw oh, machine washable polyester blah 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 Okay, so it doesn't say the brand on this tag at all. It just says the care instructions. So sorry about that, but I know that my mom found this at Home Goods, and my sister also got one just like this, but Tiffany blue, um, and then also it kind of fades and ombres into white in the middle. So again, she said she found both of them at Home Goods, but I do not know the brand, so I do apologize on that. But super, super cute. Again, I cannot wait to put this in my room. It is so fun and soft and fuzzy. So this will be perfect for this upcoming winter season season in how many months don't even know don't even feel it like counting so okay oh that just touched my face oh no I just got lipstick on it on the white part shoot okay well I will wash this and get the makeup off 
Sorry. So this next item, I was so excited to get this because this was on my wish list. My sister picked this up for me for Christmas. This was kind of my big little surprise from her. Um, and this is a like coffee table decorative fashion book. I'm so excited for this. This is the Yves Saint Laurent, the Scandal Collection 1971 book. So here it is. I still have it in the plastic because I don't want to take it out yet. But it's this beautiful green colored book that is just so fun. I love this green for fuzzy coat that she has just so so cute again here is the binding love that and then here is the back it's like coming off um i think i got a little excited and i was like wait no 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 i gotta leave it on <laughs> gotta leave the plastic on at least for the video so i can't wait to take pictures with this decorate with this and uh, look at it and get into it and all that good stuff but again this has been on my wish list for quite a while so i was super surprised and shocked by this um and uh, yeah i'm so so grateful so Thank you, Kaylin, again, so excited for this. I don't really have any other books like this. And I believe that this is my first YSL Yves Saint Laurent type book. I don't think I have any others. Oh no, I do, I do, I have one other one. I have the big one with the, or it's not big, but it has a big pink bow on the back. Super cute, so I do take that back. So this is not my first YSL book, but um, still nonetheless, this is the Scandal Collection, like I said, 1971. Coffee table, fashion book, whatever you wanna call it, super, super excited for it. So this next item I was so excited and surprised to get. So if you follow me on social media, you already should know what this is. And again, I was not expecting this at all. This is for my best friend. This is what she gave me for Christmas. Bum, ba, da, da. Yes, it is a Tiffany bag. Just the bag, no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Inside though is a very special, thoughtful gift from my best friend. Here is the ribbon. So again, this is from Melina. And uh, I was so excited to get this. And I do have a vlog footage of this. Um, I compiled the rest of my Vlogmas footage all into one big video. Uh, it's over an hour long and I'll probably post that in Christmas in June or July or whatever we do whatever it is, six months. Yeah, it's either June or July. So I'll post that then, but I've already edited it. It's all put together and you'll see when I got this present from her, but I will still show it to you right now anyway, because of course it's a Christmas present. So inside, I was like losing my mind when I opened this. It's just so, so perfect. And again, I've already posted this on Instagram. I've posted a few pictures of it and like the box and bag and all that good stuff. So um, yes, I could not wait. I was so, so obsessed, so grateful for this. And uh, I had no clue. I didn't even know this existed and she completely hit it out of the park. She knew exactly that I would love this so, so much. Oh, it's a little dusty because I had it, had it out this year already. So I'm glad she gave it to me well before Christmas um, just because I got to enjoy it. So I feel like I have to fix my hair for this. I know, it's super annoying. Anyway, my best friend got me a Tiffany & Co ornament. I'm obsessed with this. So as you guys can see, the glass of the actual heart ornament is like a tinted Tiffany blue color. You can kind of see it right there. And then on the front, it says, please return to Tiffany & Co New York, which she and I are actually planning a New York trip this December. I, ow, <laughs> I've never been to New York. She's never been to New York. So we're taking a little best friend trip there um, and we're already starting to plan it. So again, super excited. We're certainly gonna have to stop by the Tiffany's store but it's just so so pretty uh it does have a little sticker on the back it says tiffany and co made in slovenia crystal glass so this does come off i'll just put it in the box or whatever but i'm so obsessed with this this is so so beautiful i love it so super excited so again thank you melina so much this is just so special and thoughtful so oh, yes cannot wait to go to new york okay anyway i'm gonna put this away before it gets broken and then we'll move into my whole slew of makeup and makeup tools so like I said, next, we are going to get into all of my makeup stuff. So if you are not into makeup, I'll see you later. I'll see you in another video. But again, I've got so much stuff to get into. I love Too Faced and their Christmas collection this year was just so perfect. It was so pink. It was just so everything I love. So uh, between my parents, grandparents and sister, they bought me a bunch of stuff. Um, I'll try and do my best and tell you who got what. Um, but again, we have a lot of stuff to go over. So let's get right into it. This first set is the Too Faced Christmas Dreams Essential Cruelty Free Brush Set. Here is what the packaging looks like. So fun. So pretty. I love all of course that metallic gold mixed in with the pastels and uh this is just what is inside that package it just says i dream in makeup too faced so fun and there's like little gold metallic stars all over it with a little heart pull that says too faced and then inside are their makeup brushes 
And uh, some of them have little sleeves on them. Oops, silica packet. <laughs> My cat will love to find that if I don't put it in the trash. Um, so here are the small eye brushes. So this is kind of an angled uh, brush. Oh, and let me just talk about the actual handles, which is just like the best part. Uh, they of course are plastic. They have a little gold tip right here. And then oh, that's my middle finger. I don't want to do that. And uh, then the whole brush handle though is baby pink with gold stars and polka dots. And then it just says Too Faced uh, in cursive right there. Um, so then this one, like I said, is an angled brush and the bristles are like pink and white. And then this one is kind of a more flat tapered brush, I would say. It's a little bit larger for your eyeshadow, so maybe good for shimmers and glitters and stuff. And then this one is certainly a round domed blending brush, good for your crease, matte colors, all that good stuff. So they have a good little selection right there, kind of a base starting kit or whatever to go off of. So here is this first brush. So this one again is kind of just uh, rounded, but also tapered as well. And uh, you could use this for blush, highlighter, or anything else like that. Again, you could set, like technically set your concealer with that. Um, again, you can use brushes for so many different things. Really, everybody's face is completely different. But this is the biggest brush in the set here. So then here is that brush. Again, super fluffy, so, so soft, cruelty-free, all of that good stuff. And um, this is perfect for powder. Um, you could maybe use this for bronzer. Um, but you'd have to be really, really careful. So again, I love the, the handles. They're just really fun. I don't know if you guys can see it a little bit more. Um, on the bigger one and not on the small ones. So, so pretty, so fun. And uh, that was the Christmas Dreams Too Faced brush set. So next I received the Too Faced Tickled Peach Bite Sized Peach Infused Eyeshadow Palette. What a mouthful. Um, and the packaging says that it smells like peaches. And I'm not going to swatch all of these or any of these really just because that would be a little bit too time con time consuming. Um, but here is just what the packaging looks like on this. It has that metal kind of tin packaging that Too Faced use a lot. And uh, here are the colors. So cute. It's just like a little mini peach uh, eyeshadow palette, just like their big one or main one or whatever you want to call it. So uh, yeah, there's some fun shades in here. And these two over here on this side are a little bit larger than the other three, but between those six colors, like the, um, I should say, of the eight colors, uh, there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five uh, shimmery shades, and then there are the three matte shades. So let me see the mirror, whatever. So you could do like, where is it? This one in your crease, this color down here in your outer crease, the white one would certainly be a good brow highlight, and then any of the three other colors you could certainly put on your lid, shimmery, all of that good stuff. So. It's like just a super simple, basic, small palette, but also has a little bit of pizzazz to it. So that one is really fun. And I also have another one very similar. Let me grab that one. So just like that last palette, this is also a little mini Too Faced eyeshadow palette. This was from Santa Mouse and this was in our tree with a little yellow ribbon tied on it. But this is just the Sugar Cookie eyeshadow palette. Here is what the actual packaging looks like. Again, this was also on my wish list. So excited to get this. I'll show you what the inside looks like. Um, and yeah. I was just so, so, so excited. Look at this packaging. Oh, it's just so perfect. So cute. So it has just some little sugar cookies all over it. All pink, brown, white. Super fun. Totally, totally a me palette. And then here are the colors. So it's kind of the same thing. Eight shades, two larger ones, and one, two, three matte ones, and five shimmery shades. So the matte one is, of course, this brown one up here this uh, tan one right here, and then the upper one right here that is a good uh, brow bone highlight or whatever you want to call it. So super, super pretty shades. I love this so much. Um, and I cannot wait to actually play with these and use them. Um, because again, I've just been kind of waiting for this video. I know that's so bad, but um, that's okay. That's okay. We're doing it today. We're getting it out of our system. So next I received a Too Faced Love Flush Blush in the shade Justify My Love. It is certainly more pink. Um, I have a few of these blushes already. They're so nice. They do last um, quite a while. I know that they say, yeah, long lasting 16 hour blush. I will say they do last quite a long time, if not more than 16 hours, because I wear this blush when I go into Disneyland and my blush is always popping by the end of the night. So here is just what that shade looks like. Certainly Barbie pink, but it is a really, really pretty color. So 
got that one. I know there's not a lot of colors, of course, to see here because it's just one blush, but that is that. Moving on. So next, I received a Too Faced Snow Bunny Luminous Bronzer. Um, I believe this was in my stocking at my grandparents' house, but here is just what the packaging looks like. Um, I don't have any of the Snow Bunny or there's another one. There's Snow Bunny. I think there's an Angel one or something. Um, I don't have those, but I do love the Milk Chocolate and Chocolate Soleil bronzers. All the Too Faced bronzers are really, really nice. Um, so here is just what this classic iconic packaging looks like. And then here is what the actual bronzer uh, looks like. So we kind of have a nice champagne -y color here, a pink color here, brown here, and then a more white uh, creamy highlighter color there. So if you mix it all together, you'll get some good all over the face color, a little bronze, a little blush, a little highlight all in one. Um, and you could certainly use them individually if you have like a very thin brush. Um, but again, you could just swirl it all together and have just a very uh, nice, even all over the face color. Sure, we'll go with it. So again, this is the Too Faced Snow Bunny luminous bronzer. But this next item is the Too Faced Melted Matte Limited Edition Gingerbread Scented Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Here is what the packaging looks like. They had two of these. They had the Gingerbread Man one and the Gingerbread Girl one. This is, of course, the Gingerbread Girl shade. Um, they're both really, really cute, and I really wanted both. Um, but I think that my mom said they were really hard to find and get their hands on. So uh, totally understand it. They're like those really fun kind of uh, rusty brick uh, kind of neutral shades a little similar to what I'm wearing now but a little bit more red um, but this is just what that color looks like so this does smell like gingerbread men or gingerbread girl whatever you want to call it but it smells so amazing <sighs> I cannot wait to use this next Christmas I mean I'll probably use it before Christmas of course but to smell gingerbread and have gingerbread smelling lipstick at Christmas would be everything so uh, yes super super excited for that oh and I forgot to tell you the little uh, top up here has little gingerbread girls on them with bows in there. They don't even have hair, but on their heads. <laughs> so, so super cute. So that is that moving right along. So this next item was actually a late addition to my Christmas wish list, and I was so excited to get this. My parents picked this up for me, but this is the Pretty Rich Too Faced Diamond Light Eyeshadow Palette. Here is what the packaging looks like. So fun. This literally looks like a Juicy Couture uh, necklace box. <laughs> this is very similar to that packaging. Um, and of course, uh, Too Faced has other pack other products packaged very similar to this they have a highlighter all that good stuff but anyway this looks just like a uh juice couture box anyway point made <laughs> so here is what the top looks like so i'm gonna hold this very still so you guys can see all of the colors in this eyeshadow palette but it's just so beautiful there are shimmers there are mattes it is just a very gorgeous palette those glitter shades are so beautiful so just ugh. Pizzazz, pizzazzle, we'll use that word. Um, they're just very shimmery and very shiny. So this is going to be a very fun palette to play with because we do have those good matte shades to use in the crease. And of course, those really fun glittery shades to use on our lids. So again, this color right here is just perfect. So love this, love this so much. Cannot wait to actually use this. And um, it's just a really fun packaging. You can see there, there is a mirror on this side, but again, so, so gorgeous. Love this so much. So, so again, this is the Pretty Rich palette from Too Faced. So next is the Too Faced Christmas Dreams Beauty Daydreamer Limited Edition Makeup Collection. Again, another mouthful of a name. Here is what the box looks like. It's so fun. It's like a pastel blue color. It does show you, of course, what comes on the inside in this package, but I'm still going to take it out and show you anyway. Anyway, so here is the pouch. It's really fun. It has these little bunnies with gold ears and black bows around their necks, little pink noses, a cute little black velvety bow, a heart little pole that says Too Faced. And then inside we have a palette. And then we also have two little goodies wrapped up in pink tissue paper. Love this. So in there we have a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Again, this is just like a little sample size. It's not the full size. And then this we have the Too Faced Bunny Kisses lip gloss. And it's in a very beautiful neutral nude shade. I love these. And then the little top right here is the same print as that bag. So well, you can't even see because I've never opened it. But um, it's just a very, very pretty neutral nude shade. Nude shade. 
goodness. Here's the palette now. <laughs> Let's get into the good stuff. Here is the front of the palette. It just says Beauty Daydreamer. Really cute, very thin. So these are great to store. Um, and then here is, so let's put that over here. Here is the inside of the actual palette itself as far as the colors go. So you can see there is a good little range. We do have quite a few browns in there, kind of some rusty colors. Um, but overall, we do have some really beautiful kind of shimmery, I wouldn't say glitter, but they are shimmery um, eyeshadow shades in there. So this one is really fun too. This is a very big one, but there are some gorgeous, gorgeous colors in here. Yeah, it is more of course towards the neutral, natural side, but then we do have those kind of fun, bright colors in there as well. So I'm gonna put this one all back and then we'll bring out the next palette. So every year Too Faced does a little Christmas exclusive to Ulta and Sephora stores. So that blue set that you just saw was the Ulta exclusive Christmas palette. Palette. This next one is the Sephora exclusive Too Faced Christmas palette. Again, so many words. Um, so here is what that packaging looks like. This is the Christmas Dreams Dream Queen Limited Edition Makeup Collection Palette. So here is that, and then it's pretty much almost the exact same thing, but just different shades, different uh, colors, and all that good stuff. So let me open this and show you what we got going on inside. So right off the bat, right when you open it, we do have a little mini of the three-in-one hangover Prime Set Refresh Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. So I've never used this, but I've heard a lot of people rave about it. So I was really excited to get a little kind of a sample version of that. I don't think that that's the full size because it just seems a little bit on the smaller side. Um, but it says silicone free, alcohol free, oil free, love your skin even when you don't one fluid ounce. So again, I don't think that that's the full size. But um, over here, we have another sample of the Better Than Sex Mascara. Boom. And then next to it, we have the Too Faced Pink Swan Lip Gloss. Again, just like the other one, but this is certainly more of a purple shimmer, kind of a rosy shimmer color. And then the same thing with the top up here, the little handle, it just has the swan design on it, like the front of this box. So let's get the palette out. So I've certainly been talking way too much because I'm losing my voice, um, but it does come with the little pouch, just like that last one. This is just what that looks like. It's not inside of it or anything, um, but it is more of a canvas where that other one was kind of like a faux leather type material. And it just has white swans all over it with little black bows around their neck. And then there's some gold stars kind of all around the image and then, or all around the, um, bag itself we've got a little black velvet bow just like the last one and a two-faced heart uh, zipper pull so as far as the palette goes this is what that one looks like this is more of a book style this one says dream queen on the front really cute with the swans and the pink and the gold yada 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 and then here are the shades so we do have of course more shades in this it seems like than the last one and uh yeah again same thing we've got some fun bold colors here and there like of course this shade right here but then we also have a good amount of natural neutral everyday kind of shades that i would normally gravitate towards um so again just a really fun selection of eyeshadows and then we have uh, some larger shades over here. We've got two blushes in the middle uh, in the shades of Winterberry and Sweet Sweet on Santa. We have a kind of a highlighter color, which is Snow Extra, and then a bronzer color for uh, Chestnuts Roasting. So all of the names on the eyeshadows, of course, are all Christmas themed. They're really cute. We've got Secret Santa. That's a beautiful one. Wrap It Up, uh, Cozy Up. Son of a nutcracker. So they're just so fun. Uh, keep your hands to your elf. So I love it. They did a really good job with all of these palettes. And again, this is the Sephora Too Faced Christmas, uh, ex Sephora exclusive Christmas Too Faced palette exclusive 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 thing on my jig so again this is that packaging and then i've got one more um that was at both stores also on their website and then the last item is one that i bought kind of around fall time i'll still show it to you anyway for other reasons but as far as christmas presents go i've got one more christmas present but technically still two items left in this video so for my last actual christmas gift this is the Too faced under the christmas tree Breakaway makeup palette and mascara. So here is what the packaging looks like. This is so gorgeous, so perfect. Of course, this pastel pink is my aesthetic completely. <laughs> so here is what that looks like. When you open it up, here is what it looks like on the inside. We do have a sample, of course, of their Better Than Sex mascara. That is three or four now, three, four, something like that. Okay, that's not wanting to that's not wanting to come out okay let me take this out of the packaging and then i will show you what, what the actual inside of the makeup palettes look like 
So here is the actual palette. This is so crazy. They are all magnetic. They're all sticking together by magnets. Of course, they all come apart. That is what it looks like. I feel like I'm gonna drop this. One's gonna shatter. It's gonna be a whole ordeal. So I'm going to take them apart, show you what they look like individually and all that good stuff. So starting with the first one at the top of the tree, the smallest one, here is what that looks like. We have two highlighters and a bronzer in this little palette. So this shade here, actually, I guess this is more of a blush color. So, so technically, one blush, one highlight, one bronzer. I don't even know what the back says. It just says blush, bronzer, and highlighter. Okay, so one of each. So again, blush, highlighter, and bronzer there uh, in the shade Angel Kisses, Winter Glow, and Christmas Flush. So that is what that looks like there. That's the top little part of the Christmas tree. Uh, moving on to the middle piece, this is what that one looks like, of course. And then they all say Too Faced. They all have gold metallic detailing and stars and little garlands all over the front. Really, really cute. Guys, my hair on my nerves all the time, constantly. Okay, so here is what this palette looks like. They're all eyeshadow shades, really, really pretty. That was completely upside down. Um, but yeah, here are all of the colors. So it looks like we have eight shades in here, yeah eight shades. We've got one, two, three matte shades. And then of course, five shimmery shades, which seems to be a trend for them. Um, but yeah, really, really fun shades. And again, um, here is the little plastic thing that says what the actual shades are. So, you know, what? I haven't even looked, I don't think that they would do this, but um, I don't think that any of these would be duplicate to the other palettes as far as the same shades and color names, and all that stuff. So for the bottom of the Christmas tree, this is just what that looks like. It has a nice little gold stump right here. Really cute. And I just love this like velvet packaging with the gold metallic. It's just so perfect. So we have some more eyeshadows. I don't know. I think these might be a little bit bigger than that last one. Um, but it looks like how many shades do we have here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shades in this bottom palette. So uh, how many of them are matte though? One, two, three, four, five matte. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, of course, shimmers. So um, there's some really good shades there. That green one, of course, will be kind of fun for a good Christmas look. Um, this purple one, we'll see. Again, I'm still experimenting with other colors here, um, even though I'm more of a neutral girl. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so again, it's super cute. I love these. So again, that is what that bottom palette looks like. And they all magnetic together, which is just, or magnet together. They're just so cool. Like what a, what a fun invention. What a fun, different type of makeup palette. It's not your everyday makeup palette. Um, fix our tree there. <laughs> so anyway, really, really cool. Super excited. I get to actually play with these now. Um, and of course this packaging is just like everything, this big old box. So, um, that is my last official Christmas present, but I do have one other makeup item that I bought in the fall time. So right prior to Christmas. Um, and who knows, they might still have this on their website or whatever on clearance. So that's why I wanted to include it in this video. So let's get into that. And then this video will be over. So this is actually technically from the HSN website, but again, definitely check or whatever to see if they have it on clearance. Um, again, I know that they went pretty fast, but sometimes that they do have like a separate back stock and order that they do clearance out after the holidays and stuff. So certainly check back again, HSN Home Shopping Network is where this Too Faced palette came from. Last year they did a uh, HSN exclusive and that was like a sugar plum fairy one. It was very pretty. I got that one for Christmas as well. But this year they did the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice palette. So I did pick this up. I saw this circulating on Instagram and I was like, I have to have. Um, if you guys don't know, I went as a pumpkin spice latte a couple years ago. Um, that was super fun. So anyway, getting inside though of this actual palette, here is what it looks like. We have a lip gloss, a full size better than sex mascara. And then of course, one of the brushes that matches the Christmas set that I already purchased, but I'll still show it to you anyway. So here is just what that brush looks like. It's very similar to the other one that's already in my package. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the actual same one. I'd have to go in, look at the product details and see if there's any names or numbers for these. Um, they don't have any of them like printed on the actual brush, but they're very similar. So this is what that one looks like. It's more of a kind of a tapered fluffy brush. Um, so again, good for eyeshadows and all that. Um, so I can't, I can't really get the lip gloss out, but as you can see, it's a nice kind of a rusty glitzy color though. Um, there are like little gold flakes in there. And then of course the mascara is the mascara, but the important part of course is the palette. So let me get that out without breaking an eyeshadow. So that big old box for this little baby palette, but it's still so cute anyway. 
Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. Really, really cute. I love the actual packaging. Let me just show you guys that again. With the gold metallic, we've got the little cinnamon sticks here, the fun kind of stars and glitter and all that good stuff. Uh, really fun. Then, of course, this fun uh, burnt kind of peachy orange color for, of course, the pumpkin spice. So this is just what the inside of the actual palette looks like. We have 16 colors in here, a good little variety between uh, mattes and shimmers. Let me count them though really quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's split evenly, eight shimmers, eight matte colors. Um, again, same thing, neutral, but there are a few bold in there. So again, you can kind of see the color scheme that they're going for here though, a very cinnamon, fall, kind of rustic-y, burnt colors. Um, yeah, just kind of rich tones, rich warm tones. Um, I love warm toned eyeshadows. So this is kind of like a perfect palette for me. Um, I didn't actually get a chance to use this, of course, in the fall time. I think the shipping took a little bit longer um, than we were expecting, of course. And I think we bought like two or three of these palettes. So we had a little bit larger of an order. I think there were three. I think all of us each got one, me, my mom, and my sister. So anyway, yes, the shades are absolutely gorgeous, but I still wanted to mention this too anyway, because it is technically a seasonal type palette. Um, and in case HSN puts them on clearance for any reason or if they're on the actual Too Faced website, who knows, crazier things have happened. Um, I've also seen it like the limited edition palettes and things like that end up at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all of those kinds of stores. So definitely keep your eyes out if you did not pick them up during this past Christmas season in 2018. Um, you never know when they're going to pop up. Honestly, they'll get another shipment that said, hey, these never sold. So um, yes, it's kind of crazy, but you will still see them circulating after the holidays. So whew, that is that. I've officially lost my voice. I sound like a completely different person. Um, but yes, let's close this video out now. <laughs> so that is that. That is all I have to share in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you for watching this. You very easily could have clicked off right when I said it. This was basically my what I got for Christmas, but just titled a little bit differently as my cute stuff haul because because again, I am still hauling cute stuff. So thank you guys for watching. And again, if I didn't receive these as gifts, I probably would have purchased them myself. So again, justified. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking with this. I hope you guys are having a great 2019. But I will say this, if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That way you'll be notified when I post new videos. And if you guys want to follow me on any of my social media pages, in the meantime, in between uploads, I do have Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I will leave all my little handles right down here as always you guys know the drill so with that said thank you seriously so much for all of your love and support thank you for watching this video and i will see you all in my next video mm -hmm.